morning everybody, Randy Richard in the shop. Uh, I've been away from the camera. Yep. <laughs> Other than the work thing, uh, my wife uh, had a, I don't know, a new bout with cancer and had to have her entire thyroid removed. So uh, we've been kind of busy taking care of things there. Uh, but she's tough and she's doing very well so uh, I just I let you guys know uh, why I've been away from the camera but a couple weeks ago I had uh, some visitors uh, now a few weeks back Chris Anderson uh, make sure I put his link up to his channel uh, he came and visited and I'm not done with that project yet so I'm not gonna get uh, that video up yet uh, with a project that him and I are working together on. I've mentioned it, it's uh, angle plates. Uh, so I'll just show you real quick. So these are these angle plates that Chris uh, made the pattern for and had cast. We, we may, uh, he uh, may have made uh, four of them. And so uh, I'll be getting more on that. Uh, I want to uh, we milled them and they came out very, very nice. And after they've been sitting here, they're anywhere from less than a one thousandth to about one and a half thousandths out. Uh, they came out really good uh, over that five, over five inches. Uh, so we're I'm gonna also I think I'm gonna grind them now because whether Chris wants to scrape them and that's a possibility. I would like to scrape mine. Uh, so when I get time, I'm going to do that, but I'm going to at least try to grind them so that they're, they're really close. So what I did is I picked up a, this, uh, cube. Now this is an older one. It was manufactured by, in the U.S., Challenge Machinery, Grand Haven, Michigan, 4x6, four, four uh, steel, cast steel. It's not cast iron, cast steel. And uh, it, you know, it's been around the block, so to speak, a few times. And it was out. I've reground uh, the big surfaces here. So those are parallel now. And I've reground the both the ends, uh, and they're parallel. Uh, my out of squareness is only about four tenths. Uh, so, but I can't I don't have a way to do the ends and I think I can get this better as far as squareness goes parallel there they're less than a tenth uh, from not be it from parallelism but uh, I, th I think I can get the squareness a lot better so I bought a larger larger uh, uh, tooling vice you know a machinist grinding vice so I can hold this I'm going to regrind this uh, for squareness and then then I'll be uh, setting up these angle blocks angle plates and grinding these so that's why that's taking a little while to to do all that but anyway so I and then a couple weeks ago I had another visitors uh, Ray Cornelia and Phil Mundy came up uh, for a for a week on a weekend I don't know, Sunday for a Sunday Saturday Saturday anyway <laughs> And we did a few projects, so I have a little bit of video. Uh, I was uh, horsing around getting something done in the shop here, and this is one of the completed projects. We repaired this hammer. It's a solid brass handle and solid head Mac tool hammer, and we we made some uh, new ends for it. Uh, this uh, goes to a mechanic uh, that works with uh, my son. That. He's an older guy and uh, has had us for a long time, so we fixed it up for him. Also, one other thing, Summer Bash. Uh, I've gotten, I've been emailing with uh, Bruce Whittem from Australia. And uh, you guys have seen his logo, right? That's uh, Bruce's uh, logo. I'm very fortunate to have one of these larger ones. So, Bruce is uh, also going to come and come and visit and, uh, before the bash and uh, spend a day or so here with me. Uh, he probably going to have some projects uh, we need to get done. Also, uh, I've been talking with Stan 
And since I've made a few of these nice stainless steel scribes, this one will get donated to the bash. These will be in a set of stands squares that will be uh, for the raffle. This is a, these came out uh, really quite nice. I just haven't had time to make two. I do have a few of these I'm going to sell, but uh, I just have a few. Uh, if you watch this video and if you're fast, maybe you could get a get one of these. So yeah, you what you do is you email me, right? Email me, email me. But you're gonna have to be quick. There's only about oh five or six of them. That's it. But they came out very nice. And this one is gonna be with uh, stand squares at the bash. And it's engraved special for that uh, Summer Bash 2017 on there. Yeah. Anyway, come to the Bash. Maybe you can win this. Also, one of these will be with Emma Squares that she's given away her with her tool making video competition. Enter a video. Enter. Send it to Emma. That's Emma Ritson uh, down in Australia. Uh, back uh, spare room machine shop spare room. I have to get that right <laughs> but Anyway, uh, I'll have her link in here, too but uh, One of these will be with her set of squares And I'm sending a couple of these out to just a couple of people uh, that deserve one uh, in the YouTube world Anyway you guys Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me here. I, I do have projects going and uh, getting time to film them is, is being a little bit tough, but I'm working on it. I am working on it. So uh, thanks a lot, you guys. Oh, howdy. There's Phil. Uh, We're doing a little uh, Wilt and Vista repairs. That's the end cap. We're uh, reshaping the freeze plug so it will fit. Get in there. There we go. There's the end. Almost there. Oh uh, yeah. This is gonna be a professional job on that. That's gonna be sweet. Yeah, we did a little rework on the vise of uh, uh, proper screws for retention, and Phil's fixing up a cap. And then over here we got. Ray. Ray, hey, Ray, Ray C, the man. He's uh, he's fixing that hammer. He's doing a little milling. We got one side milled off and threaded. We're gonna make some uh, new heads for it. And uh, over here, I'm turning the heads on the lathe. We're gonna have a nicely repaired, fresh, very old, pretty old, we figure, but. The brass hammer by Mac Tools. Yeah, we couldn't find it on the internet. So they're all splayed out and uh, pretty tough shape. Randy, is that RPM correct? Yeah, pretty close. 1848? Huh? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Reading a really nice finish, but then again, it's brass. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's working pretty good on that, actually. Yeah, it is. You doing about 50 thousandths at a time? Yep. Probably get close. Close. Yeah, we got Ray and Phil in the shop today. We've, we're uh, working on the vise. We're working on the hammer. What else did we fix? Uh, we had lunch. We're fixing the uh, Wilton Bullet Vice. We're fixing the brass Mac Hammer. Uh, what else? We got something else we're fixing. Right. I yeah. know we got three things going on at but, once. But we're, we're old and we can't remember anything today. We'll bring you back for some more. So, we also have Roscoe's shop dog over here. He's supervising. He has complete Faith is in his employees. Look at that. He's Look at that dog. Eye on that Phillip, isn't he? 
Somebody said he was too excited in one of the last videos there, and he's calmed down now. Good boy, Roscoe. Roscoe. Good him. Yeah. Boy, hey, Randy, can you calm him down a little bit? Yeah, he's kind of a rowdy dog. Yeah, he's a little rowdy right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take it. We'll, we'll, we'll catch you later, Roscoe. Use your, no, go ahead. Randy, you think we should use your carbide, uh, what do you call this thing? Scribe. Yeah, carbide scribe. You think we should use it as a center? Well, or do you think that thing's going to be all cattywampus? Uh, it's going to be cattywampus. All right, ready? fully, fully cattywampus. Here okay, we go. okay, we're we're going to check it. Okay, it's so running what five thousand RPM? Oh, I got no. an error. I got an EO two error. What does that mean? Okay, Wait. what's up, Ray? What are we doing? I know. Well, no, Randy, you think I can use your scribe as a center? This scribe? Yeah, this one. This beautiful gold scribe yeah yeah well i is that okay to do that oh yeah that one wasn't glued in there oh okay good yeah no that one wasn't glued in I'm gonna that, use it that, that was center. a model thing oh man he just pulled that apart you break it you buy it right <laughs> i've only bought three now oh okay <laughs> okay so we're going to use the scribe part as a, as a center Let's okay see how she runs ready okay I don't know. I'd say she's good. I think, I think that's zero. Okay. Describe now as a new centering device. Forget those wigglers. That's sweet. Good job, Randy. <laughs> okay. We're at final assembly point here on the hammer. So what we did was we made a little uh, 5 16 18 studs. Since this head was obviously a one piece head. And then we're then we're going to what Loctite the heads on too. So everything's on solid. Sweet. There we go. Where's it? Oh, flip to the other side. It says Mac Tool. Somewhere. There we go. Oh, there it is. There we go. Came out nice. Good job, Randy. Uh -huh. Good job, Ray. Good job, Phil. Good job, Phil. Right oh, there. where's the vice? We got to show the vice. Right, oh, the vice. Yeah. Uh, let's cut and go over to the vice. Hey, there. Beat on that with a little bit of the hammer. <laughs> Phil, okay. tell us what you did over here. <laughs> <laughs> Phil uh, took that freeze plug and it was really. It was loose in there. It wasn't wasn't tight, and uh, he reshaped it a little bit. Okay, Randy, oh, okay. we have to tell a story it here. Came out really nice. Everyone oh, needs it. to know that this originally came from Chuck Bomarino. Oh yeah, they, we, sent to me. It had a smiley face on it. It had a smiley face on it. Yeah, it did. You well, need to watch the video. Well, I guess I need to watch the video. <laughs> I don't remember that part. So we have to thank Chuck for this, since I'm passing it forward to oh, you, Randy. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Chuck, for the freeze plug, and thank you, Phil, for uh, doing a beautiful job of fixing that. This up just happened to be in my truck with the other Wilton parts. Now they want to take the vice home. They, they, don't listen to them. <laughs> <laughs> now they want to take my vice. <laughs> 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 then they want to steal this vice. Four yeah. inch. Steal four inch bullet. Yeah. Boy, these guys want everything. Just, boy. <laughs> you know what I would do? I'd wait Philip on the way out. Weigh me. <laughs> yeah. I, think, I think he's going to have to empty his pockets. Okay, let, let's see his pockets. You have, you have a metal detector before we go? So, so uh, thank you guys. Thank you, Randy. What's next? What's next? Uh, I don't know. Find something? There's lots since, of things since, around here to straighten up. Since Lent's over, you could have a beer. I could. We could probably scrounge something up. I don't know. So. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Say goodbye. Thanks, Randy. Hey. Until next time, see ya! <laughs>